Hi everyone, in this video I go through a few of the steps I take when I have a really difficult cannulation, including having, taking a really small needle, a 24 gauge, putting sound in the chamber, and also taking a really slow approach. I'm taking a very low angle, a very slow approach, checking for that flashback, leveling off, advancing a tiny bit in a 24 gauge needle, and then threading off carefully. In the first attempt, where I've inserted is probably misaligned with the vein. So I haven't persisted at the wrong angle in an extremely tiny vein. I simply just take it out, exchange the needle, and try to get it at a better vein site. Hope you enjoy this video. I've got a 24 gauge cannula. I've put some saline to get a quick flashback. I really do want the vein as big as possible, but it's a very tiny vein. And I got a very low angle. I go reasonably slowly. Once I think I'm near where the vein is, I look at the chamber, see if I can get a flashback. And you can see I've kind of gone a little bit off to the side. It's not a problem. I've just got to re-angle so the vein doesn't roll away from me. And this one is actually popping up a bit more. Get a flashback, I'll level out and pass it ever so slightly forward, and then try to thread this, and that's in. So this is a fragile veins, I don't take it for granted that it's in, so I'm looking for any swelling around there. I got a secondary flashback in the chain in the lumen, and also I've got good flow back there. And so yeah, that's a successful vein cannulation. Very difficult, um, tiny vein. I'll now release the tourniquet. Even though I've done a little skin puncture there, that didn't actually get the vein. It's not a problem. I just had to, you know, recommit to another vein because I decided that that one was a better option than this one.